Welcome to the False Color Exposure Tool. We have spent weeks and months in the development of this special tool. This is a false color tool that you can simply load in into your FS7, FS7 Mark II, F55, F5 in the forthcoming Venice and into external monitors that support 3D lookup tables. At least this is a 3D lookup table we developed uh, especially for these colors. So we made hundreds of measurements of gray cards and we made some exposure experiments with all these uh, S-log formats and gamma curves. And we decided to go for six colors only because most other um, false color systems like in the Aria Alexa or in the RED cameras simply screw up the picture with dozens of colors. Probably they tell you much more than we do, but this false color is aimed for run and gun shooting, for TV work, for drama. You can choose from different uh, false color setups. So we think this is the right way to expose S-Log or the right way to expose Rec 709 or LC 709. Our problem with histogram is that you cannot see where in the picture uh, something happens if some exposure is too high or too low. You don't see the objects that have problems because it's just measuring in a general average. Waveform monitor is much better so you can decide from left to right where in the picture something happens but you still don't see what object exactly has a problem um, so we don't like waveforms and many people cannot read waveforms or think it's too complicated. So we're not going with this. Uh, the last method of exposing is zebra pattern. Zebra pattern is a quite old way to measure brightness, but uh, our problem, the, it's a kind of spot meter dedicated for a certain brightness level. So you can see into the picture and see a dedicated brightness level, but you don't see all of the brightness levels uh, at the same time. And uh, probably if you have different zebras, they screw up the picture as well. So now let's switch over to our false color exposure tool. This is how I like to expose with false colors. Red means too hot, purple means too dark, blue means standard blacks with details, and you have orange for highlights with details, and you have a dedicated skin tone, Caucasian skin tone green. There is also a yellow color representing 18% mid-gray. Okay, let's see another example. This has been shot in S-Log3, s Gamma 3 It's very popular in the Sony cameras. And as you see, it's a complete S-Log picture. We translate it into Rec. 709 or LC709. And as you see, yellow gives the representation of mid-gray and you can clearly see a skin tone color green in the face. This is another example uh, of false color coming from a Rex over 9-ish picture. And as you see, there are some blown out highlights in the candle and in the chair. And so you get a completely exactly analysis what's happening in your picture. To be honest, this is on the base of S-Log. So the underlying S-Log format has more detail in it and more dynamic range that you can use afterwards in grading. So this is just a direct representation of Rec. 709 or LC 709. You just have to put your lookup tables onto the material and you're ready to go for grading. So this was a short introduction into the false color exposure tool for Sony cameras. You simply import it into your camera or you can use it with any external monitor that supports lookup tables. If you want to purchase it, we're starting on September 26. If you want to be one of the early birds, we now take the orders and give you a rebate of 15% on the early orders and starting rollout on uh, September 26. And if you want to meet me, I will be on the Irish Sea. I'm helping Sony on the Sony booth. And if you like to talk about the false color system or if you want to try it, I will have it with me just visit me on the Sony booth at IBC. Okay, thank you very much and see you soon.